Hello everyone, it's Half Quiet Mike. I hope you're all doing well. Today we're back with some Knights of Honor 2. I'm going to be running through all the unique units and also where to find them on the campaign map. So before I run through the units one by one, I just wanted to explain how the rosters work because it's useful context for explaining how unique units fit into the game. So there are three building blocks to your overall roster. The first building block is the basic roster or unit set. There are about 20 unit sets in the game. For example, there's a Western unit set, a European unit set, a Teutonic unit set, a Spanish unit set, and every faction will use one of those unit sets as their basic roster. And that just gives you your standard infantry you can recruit. So for example, your white sword infantry, your heavy sword infantry, and any basic cavalry units. The next building block is faction-specific kingdom units. Most factions will have at least one additional unit that traditionally originates from that kingdom that they can recruit anywhere. So for example, England used the Western unit set as their basic roster, and their faction-specific kingdom unit is the Longbowmen. So they can recruit Longbowmen anywhere in addition to their basic roster. Other factions that use the Western unit set might have different faction-specific kingdom units, and that's just to kind of tailor the roster more to that faction. The third and final building block is province units. So if a unit is not part of your basic roster or in your unit set, and it's not one of your faction-specific kingdom units, then you can only get that unit by conquering the province that they originate from. So, for example, if you're playing as England and you want Templar Knights, because Templar Knights are not part of your basic roster or one of your faction-specific kingdom units, the only way you can get Templar Knights is to conquer one of the provinces that they come from, such as Akka. And the reason I wanted to explain this is because there are certain units that will be province units for some factions, but part of the basic roster for others. So, for example, if you look at Teutonic Knights, if you're playing as the Teutonic Order, there is a Teutonic unit set, and obviously the Teutonic Knights are part of that unit set. So if you're playing as the Teutonic Order, you can get Teutonic Knights as part of your basic roster. Whereas if you're playing as the Kingdom of England, Teutonic Knights are not in your basic roster, and they're not one of your faction-specific Kingdom units, so you can only get them by conquering a province that they come from. So my point is, there's very few units in this game which are truly unique, and that you can only get them from specific regions. Most unique units are part of a basic roster or faction specific units for certain factions. But regardless of that, I'm still going to run through every unit that could potentially be unique or a province unit as part of this video. In the next section I'm going to show every unique unit and also the provinces where you can get them from. Just bear in mind, if you see an E, M or L after the name of the province, that's referring to the start date of your campaign. 